Yo, what is going on, boys? Asian Sensation back with another banger. Today's episode, we have part four of our playing in the highest arena until we get a hundred games played, which is ZOMG Super Dome Boost only. And this is the most competitive arena in the entire game. We're doing hundred games. We're currently a fifth of the way through. And here we go, game 21. It looks like we have Nick as our first one. Doesn't look that good of a player. So that's actually kind of nice for us. But should be a fun one. Excited to be back on the saddle, you know, playing this awesome freaking arena. The best of the best play this arena. So it's going to be really exciting. Hopefully we can be on our A game here. Um, and we'll go from there. But yeah, we have our name as Aidens, who is, shout out Aidens, one of my uh, Bloom Super friends. But uh, just trying to go undercover here. And we're just going to go safe DFA here. Uh, this guy doesn't look very good, so we're just going to a safe strat that shouldn't really lose. Um, okay, so we have Nick, and yeah, sorry boys, I haven't been really uploading much lately, and I apologize, just kind of been, okay, he's going to go anti assault attack, not, not a bad play here, well done. That's, that's kind of what you got to do, attack just isn't great late game, so you want to anti stall the early rounds, so that the dark player, or any player you're facing that has a late game advantage, just won't have as much money for the late game. So nicely done there, is he going to be going in eco strat, or no? No, he's farming. Okay, nicely done. If he's smart, though, he needs to spike these balloons that are sneaking through. Because if he doesn't, the round's just going to stall out. And yeah, that's just a blunder right there on his end. But this round got stalled out because he didn't spike those leaking reds. And you want, like I said, he wants these rounds to be as short as possible. Because the more money I get, the worse off it is for him in the late game. But also, <laughs> low key, not to, uh, you know, rip on Aiden's or anything, the YouTuber, but. It's not like he's like a known for being like a pro player or anything. So it kind of gives us a little bit of an undercover play here where our opponents might underestimate us because they think they're playing against Aiden's when really they're facing the big sensei. But should be good. Anyways, if you guys aren't new to the channel or haven't done already, make sure to subscribe on for us as well. Helps us get that much closer to a goal of 100,000 subs. We're going to induce a balloon boost here from our boy here, but this trip dart spot's extremely good. So it shouldn't really be that problematic for us. We've only leaked 10 lives. But we do, we are going to be planning on finishing this series before end of Q, or uh, before probably, okay. Let's probably try to finish it within a few months. I mean, ZOMG Superdome Boost only is out so rarely and they like adjust the schedule. So it's really hard for me to like find a time to play. Also, notice how I haven't sent this guy a single thing. And that's actually intentional because if I send him something, you know what he does? He upgrades to his blade shooter and then he anti stalls the rounds harder. If he doesn't get up a blade shooter, he's going to let these balloons kind of leak on through, which actually is helping us because it's stalling out the rounds because this guy doesn't realize he's not anti-stalling when he should be. But I'll also put anti-stalling on screen because I always get questioned. Asian, what's anti-stalling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put that on there. But uh, we're doing absolutely fine. There's not a single late game strategy you can have that out late games us. If he has tack farm super, sure, that would out late game us. Uh, yeah, you're right. But... I could also kill him with cam grow reds because he's not affording around 12 temples so that is something this guy's actually like not that bad like he's sending decent rushes he's like a competent player it's just like he doesn't know how to anti stall that's literally the only thing that's like preventing him from doing well this game uh we're just gonna burn a spike or two here just to be extra safe this guy still has like no defense and as a result, we're able to get real. Okay, finally got Blade Shooter, but our farms are insane. We're on like round 12 bank pace, which is just really, really good. He has Tack Farm Wiz. Okay, a very noob friendly strategy. Nothing wrong with that. Just pointing it out. It might work in CC, but not in the big Superdome, my guy. And he's not forcing my Jug up, which is interesting. Force some lead detection, buddy. But yeah, we'll just probably play round 12 bank here. Uh, maybe around 13, but even then, that's, like, fine. Okay, let's just go for this. Uh, anything regening like crazy here? Kind of. Let's spike these. Let's make sure we're fine here. There, he's getting aggressive all of a sudden, which is the right play. I'm just, like, kind of shocked is all. We defend there, and now we just play a safe round 13 bank. I'm going to try to win this game without sending him a single thing the whole game, by the way. I think that'd be kind of crazy. This is just a safe bank, I think. Because if he does beta boost, he probably has to balloon boost. And we can just get a, an ODS if we sell a bunch of stuff too. If we really need to, but... I expect to get rushed right here. Let's just get a Spolt on last, maybe. If he does rush. Probably over here, actually. Uh, let's go like right here for a Spolt spot on last. He's just not rushing. Okay, so we're fine. 
Let me get range on that just so we have some better shred. He's saving for a BIA, which is just like, why, man? Like, you're, you're just losing late game. I'm sorry. Like, Wiz Farm Tax blows booty cheeks, bro. Late game. It ain't, it ain't the move. Okay, he's going to rush here. We're just going to go like this. I probably have to boost here. JK, my darts are OP at the game. Okay, he gets a BIA, sure. We're just going to send him this. We're going to Bloom Boost this, and he needs to get up a Dragon's Breath to defend here. Or we... Okay. Well, I wasn't going to send him holding this whole game, but... If he's going to greed like that, you know I'll bait a boost. I'll bait the boost. It's fine. Alrighty. So now, obviously we're getting out farm, but that's because he has one of the best early game greed strategies in the game. So that's just how it should be. He's going back for more region lads after they did nothing the first time. Let's see if they do something the second time. And it appears that they do not. Because of my trip dart army. And the reason I'm not like spolt spamming is because there's not really like great spolt spots. So it's just better to spam darts. He's going to send me a Moab for sure, right? Do we even need to boost him? Yeah, we will. We'll have to boost. Even though I do have a girthy trip dart army. We're going to cash this out for BIA right here though. Boom. We got a round 18 BIA. Obviously it seems late, but like it, it's fine. <laughs> we don't have to worry, man. Like we're just playing this safe. We know we have a massive advantage come late game, so... We just got to make the late game safe. Like, that's what this series is about, is it's about playing extremely safe and just trying our best to, you know, ensure a dub. That's what we're doing. We're going to boost here. Um, This should defend. Okay, hold on. Nice rush, man. That's annoying. Okay, he forced farm cells somehow. Okay, this won't do anything. But that's annoying, man. I absolutely choked that. We almost died, bro. Okay. Let's go ahead and just get the bank up again. We're still fine. It's just a little bit suboptimal gameplay right there. Um, We'll get the BIA up again this round. And this should be a pretty safe BIA. Because even if he sends another Moab, like... We have five trip darts and an ODS. Granted, the ODS isn't in a great spot, but it's good enough. Honestly, I could just eco here, which isn't a terrible play. Call me crazy, but I kind of just want to build the eco in case he does farce farm cell. We still have some eco in our back pocket to fall back on. A BFB was not what I expected, but this is actually a great send on his play or on his end. I'm not going to lie. So I can't just greed here. I actually have to sell for a... Okay, we need 3,500. We're just going to cash out here. Do I have to boost this? I think I do. Put the jug on first. Please don't wear off, fan club. Okay. We still have another boost, but honestly, good rush on his end, like I said. We have 840 eco, though. This is great. Let's just play here now. Let's just go for an ODS right now. Just for AI protection. And we're going to get you on... Okay, let's not die here, boys. Sorry, he's farming super well, but that shouldn't be a big deal, like I said. I think we just get eco here. Let's eco to about a thousand, and then we can start farming. Because you guys got to realize how much defense this bro has to get for around 30 ZMG. Around 30 ZMGs are so strong. All right, 1100 is good. Now we can start saving up. So, yeah, my jug wasn't on last, which kind of caused a bunch of havoc earlier when I had to sell the farms because the leads were just going region mode. It's not good. But that's just because my jug targeting was very, very bad. I think we're okay now. He's got triple D breath. I don't know if he's doing this intentionally, but he's going to be anti-stalling with that probably. It's a good play. All right. This round's kind of tough. A lot of ceramics on round 24 and 25, but we should be okay here. Make sure we're not dying. He's got a maelstrom. That's a fair play. We have 1,200 eco. We had to sell our BIA, which is, again, not good. But we're okay. He probably sends his ZMG now, which is a good play. It forces Fan Club, like, and uh, Ground Zero. Like, if I'm him, I'm sending a ZMG right now. But he's not doing that. Also, he has a BIA up still. I don't know. That's kind of questionable as well. But uh, I feel like this. Uh, Was that an overdefend? Probably. Like, the ODS should be a lot better than it seems to be doing. Okay, why this guy's way more competent than his account profile kind of showed. 
as he sends a BFB. So the BFB, sure, it's an all right send. I mean, it forces me to get up a good old fan club here, but I mean, it's not that great of a rush. Like, I don't have to sell anything here. Sure, it forces $8,000 of defense, but you lose eco, you lose 2,500. Whatchamacallits. Okay, why are we dying to that? We're fine, but a bit weird there. What's the BIA at? 14K? We're going to cash you out, sell you, actually. And we're going to go like this, this, this. All right, so now we have double fact, 1,500 eco, round 27. This is like Cobra Farms. Like, when you play against Cobra and you have DFA, this is like the farms you get. It, which, are, it's not great, but... Like, you have to realize, this guy has to have insane micro to even survive, like, around 30 rush. But I shouldn't be too concerned here. Make sure we can pop AI. We're trying to use our fan club as late as possible here. These are on first, which is what we want. We don't want them targeting something that's not about to kill us. That's good. And how do we play this? I think we defend for, like, the first few rounds and then... Like after round 30 and then round 32 i think we rush him and then he shouldn't be able to defend we have to make sure we can defend some sort of counter rush like neither of us have stalls so it's not like can i even go for another farm or is that just kind of a bad play also my hands are a bit chilly so hopefully i don't blunder anything here get the jug on first i don't really trust this like we have a we pro actually i don't know if we have a lot more eco than him my guy has had a bia like the whole game okay so this is us decently smart zmg simply for the fact that it slows down my farms but if you would have sent it like a few seconds later it'd be around 30 strength which is like twice as strong as the zmg he ended up sending so a slight blunder on his end but he's doing fine we are going to need to ground zero here though we pop the first one that's fine we don't really want to worry about that too much now our focus should kind of shift to the second ZMG here. And we'll have to ground zero, but we want to use that as late as possible. Wait till all the AI mobs around the map. All right, right there's fine. Let's go like this. It's going to be around 32 in a second. So I think getting a Spectre is actually a good play here. And hopefully they target the ceramics. They being my Spectre, bro, because... Okay, it did. It didn't look like it was going to, but let's go. Oh, maybe I can't rush him yet. I think I have to start sending, though. Okay, why is this guy actually, like, decent at the game? Like, he's got insane farms. He's prepping up permanent defense. Like, he is ready, man. What a beast, man. What a beast boy. We can sell the jug for a little bit of extra cash here. And this should just be a simple double GG or GZ. Why did I just leak there? That's interesting. Shout out my boy Spectre, I guess. Am I tripping or did I just leak? Because I think I just leaked right there, <laughs> which is mighty suspicious. All right, I think we all out here, right? Is he defending an all out here? No way, right? He shouldn't be able to defend an all out. I don't... There's, like, no way. There's actually no way. I'm actually fine stalling this round out, because... Like, if this round ends and then he counters, the round 34 ZMG, or BFBs and ZMGs are going to be stronger than the round 33. You know what I'm saying? I still have a boost as well if we need it, but... Alright, we just boost here every time. He's dead, right? I think that's all I can send. Now we have to just prep defense. Okay, he died. Why was that such a sweat? And I'm pretty sure I leaked. Like, was I at nine lives that whole time? It I don't think so, man. That was scary. GG, though. Wow, what a sweat. I'm not getting no club star back. Get out of here, buddy. I need to warm the hands up or something, because that was sweaty. Straw Daddy? Okay, this guy's got a losing record. Less than 50% win rate. You like to see that. We have the Yin of Yangs. I think we just go a safe boat farm mortar here. Not a strategy I use very often anymore on this map at all. But it, it is reliable. It's very consistent. Has like the easiest defending. Um, do we want to anti-stall here? It depends what he has. Like if he has Cobra, I don't want to anti-stall. But 
If he has, like, Dark Farm Super, I want to anti-stall. I think I just anti-stall here anyways, right? Let's put you on last. Okay, it's boat v. boat. It's likely a mirror match. Not a matchup I've played very often. Why is this guy shocked? Does he know who I am? Let's go for a farm here. Going for farm here is fine because... Even anti-stalling. Either way, we'll still get one more banana and be able to afford our grape shot here in a second. I'm going to greed for my farm, though, believe it or not. Give me that extra banana. In-game, of course. Was that a blunder? Potentially, because I actually didn't even get an extra banana. I'm just going to leak, like, 30 lives instead. So, we're just a low-life warrior, all right, chat? We just we just like putting ourselves in stressful, low-life situations, and then we clutch up. That's how we do things in the big sensei's world, man. As we continue to leak under 100 lives. This guy's got, like, boat sniper ace, I think. If that's the case, I should probably be anti-stalling. Yeah, he definitely has that. So, I think we just go for another grape shot up here on close. And this way, we're going to anti-stall. And we have to anti-stall against Nico player. Because we don't want this boat sniper ace player to uh, take it late game. Because he will out late game us. And that's not a situation we want. So, anti-stalling is key here. I guess I didn't really realize he was ecoing. I thought he was just playing heavy eco, like, mixed eco you know what i mean i thought he had farms for sure but once he started sending the constant blues i'm like uh oh my man's got a full-on eco strat so now we have to accommodate for that and you can see like how quickly we're popping the natural balloons which is really good for us that's what we need to be doing i don't really agree with his boat placement because he's going to anti-stall on his side by doing that and he doesn't want to anti-stall bro's got an eco strat but we are handling the natural balloons with ease. Sure, it slows down my farms, but it's so much better to have a slightly less, like, slightly worse farms for him to have a lot worse eco. Like, that's definitely a trade-off you take. That's what we're doing right now. He's trying to do some, like, blended rushes, and I, I guess he's getting some lives on me, but it's, like, fine. You, uh, I think we go for another faster shooting. Did we let any natural balloons sneak through? No, that should be anti-stalled. Yeah, we're good. I expect to get sent a lot of yellows right here. I have to burn a boost. I have to burn a boost. Not the end of the world. Let's see. Okay, if he's max queuing yellows, do I max queue yellows? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Because he does not defend without boost. Yep, perfect. So we got a boost out of him. That's great. Take that every day of the week. Now we just save up for farms. There's no way he's going to re-aggro here, right? We're kind of... Uh, we have 78 lives. We've only leaked 72 lives. Honestly, I expect to leak more. He's going to place a sniper any second now, though. His loadout's very face-up. It's, it's definitely boat sniper ace or boat sniper glue. Okay. Um, Maybe it's boat glue mortar? I don't really know what we're up against here. To be completely honest with you. I don't really know what our mans is bringing to the table here. Let's get a Bernie stuff, though. And let's go ahead and spike that. That kind of looks sketch. Why are you sending so many leads, bro? Send them camo leads. It's got to be sniper, right? Surely. Get the signal flare. Never mind. He's going for a cannon ship, isn't he? He allows me to get triple destroy and boost, and we're fine. Do he? What does he have? Oh, it's got to be a double stall here, right? Got to be. I'm going to go like this, though. Reading for the round 13 bank, I think, is a play we have to make here. And let's work on getting up another... Okay, double double stall is probably what he has. It's going to be ninja or ice for his third, right? It's got to be. Okay. So, I think how we play this is... He's, like, space equaling right now, which means he's probably saving up for a rush. But uh, I think our main priority should be getting our BIA. Once we get up our BIA, we can start sending him stuff like ham grow lead rushes which are like his main weakness for sure and then hopefully we can be fine up like by just doing that and getting we can get aggro once we get a bi i just don't really want to aggro until i get a bi all right let's get that up this should defend easily we afforded our destroyer with like perfect amount of money right there this just defends i guess we can put our destroyer on first micro the mortar a little bit yeah we defend that easily let's get crow's nest Okay, so this is looking like we get a BIA this round. Round 17 BIA. Because we'll be able to cash this out. Um, 
Yeah, I don't love this situation here, but we have to cash for BIA. Like, that's just play with the make. He's saying CO, which means he's probably sending a Moab, but I should be able to afford double destroyer. And we can double spike and we have boost. So it's not like a Moab should get by here. Let's go ahead. I think, okay, so round 19 is when we're going to get active, boys. Round 19 is when the natural leads come, and we're going to try to blend a rush with the natural leads with some cam girl leads of our own. I don't, is he ecoing? He's like kind of ecoing. I'm very curious to know his eco because it's kind of hard to tell. But we're going to send this. We're going to block his can ship a little bit, and we're going to send this. It'll be a pretty effective rush. He's going to send me a Moab, it looks like. What did he just bloom boost? Yeah, he did send me Moab. All right. We're going to cash you out because this is terrifying pop it please we're good is he dead i think he's dead he defended okay well let's re-rush here what did he have for his third did he show it dude there's no way that just chills All right how is he fa okay they're not regening nearly as much as i anticipated them to he's just fine Nicely done. And now I kind of look like an idiot because I cashed out there. Oh boy. Okay. So he's like in this game simply because I thought... Oh my gosh. This is bad. This is bad, man. Like... We're putting ourselves in just terrible situations, I feel like. Like the cam girl LEDs are so expensive and they did like nothing. What if I just send, like, constant leads right now, though? Like, th this shouldn't really... The left side glue is terrible. Yeah, like, this should not just solo. I refuse to believe that this solos on his side. Also, we're gonna go strong, strong, because natural ceramics are coming in a second. And we don't want to be dying to that. And first now. We're good. We're good. You fine? I'm just sending max Q leads because he's dying on my screen. You're dead. R regular leads OP. It is ninja. I knew it. All right, so we defend there. Is there ever a play here where we send like a BFB and then a big camera rush behind it? No, because he just boat pulls. I think he's going to go for a flash bomb here. I think we're fine. Like he shouldn't be able to get that high of an eco, right? I don't think so. I can't be, like, greedy on my boost either. If I think there's a chance of me dying to something, I'm just going to boost it. I don't think we should take our chances. Um, We're going to go for another rush on round 24, though. Yeah. I guess we're playing high eco. Yeah, like, I don't even have a fact yet. That's just kind of bad. Get you on strong, strong, first, first. Okay. We're going to rush him here. Mix in some more camos simply because they will be very strong here for us. And that should that should regen like crazy. Yes, I finally did a layer that actually worked. Like, he's dead to this. He has to sabo. You have to sabo, man. Just sabo. You're dead. Yeah. GG's. Alright, 2-0 today, but some longer games than I really would have liked. Given the matchups, but GG's. All right, now we got John 316. We got a Mr. Bible verse here. Good luck, buddy. Give me cards. Okay, I can I can work with cards here. We want to just go DFA. Probably. This guy is pretty good on the prestige. Do I want to play cards is the question, though. It's a very choke-heavy map. But let's, let's ride. Let's ride. I guess I don't really want to play against aggro NG just because I feel like I choke against it a lot, but... And, of course, it's aggro NG. <laughs> All right. And he's going to manipulate the sentry spawns with that sweaty monkey farmer play. Fair enough. I can't say anything about sweating because I sweat very hard on my own. But good luck. Have fun. We just have to... I know how to play this matchup. It's just really easy to choke. Because cards is a difficult map, man. Like, believe it or not, I think the most important thing on this map is dart targeting. I think it's so key. Also, he didn't anti-stall this round, which is a mistake. I don't think he anti-stall that round. Yeah. 
Because if, if he fully anti-stalls here, we start round four at like 53 or 54 seconds game time. And that is simply not going to be the case. Let's see what it's, what it's at. Yeah, see, it's, it's at at least 56 seconds. That's great. We got an extra two seconds at least from the round kind of stalling out. So I'll take that. Is this a double trip map or can I just greed with one trip? I feel like it's a double trip map. I'm going to try aggroing here. Because I think if he puts his thing on la... Okay, he's going to anti-stall anyways, isn't he? I was trying to break his anti-stall. I don't think we really succeeded, though. Actually, that seemed kind of stalled out. And he stopped sending pinks, which is huge. So we should be able to plantation up, start around six. We'll take it. I haven't really played this matchup or, like... I just I haven't played this matchup in a while, so I'm a bit behind here as to, like, my decision-making. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Well, he surely should send blacks, right? Yeah, there he goes. So we're just going to go for our second trip. No hesitation here. And he's still got a pretty good anti-saw going now. It's not good for us. It's going to be NG farm spack most likely that we're up against. He's farming really well. I think I just go hard eco here. Now, this might be a controversial play, but the logic is that it forces defense. It breaks his anti-stall. And it really is going to dwindle down his live count because he's going to be chasing so much. Look at this. Okay, John 316, just die here, man. In game. We'll take a win and go next. We'll take the win and go next. But John has different ideas here. He's going to be clutching up in the gulag right there, baby. Nicely done. And he's going to rush us here. We're $28 off our spolt. Love that for us. First, first. We defend easily. A few leaks, though, in the process. I don't love our situation. I, yeah, I should have went passive farms. Went passive farms. Are right, we going to send a rush right here? Because he's going to want to double plant, I think. It's like the most aggro we can be. I have to afford a jug here around 10. And I also have to afford a third or a second spolt around 11. He's really low on lives, though. So all it takes is two lead balloons to sneak through here. And we win. So let's see. Can we do it? I guess he probably has spikes in his back pocket, but like this we're gonna get a spolt over here he's spiking that's good we're gonna go like this surely we're fine we're gonna spike as well because it looks a little spooky we're good though okay so we defended now we just farm uh he's gonna rush here i think we're okay though right yeah we're fine Dug on first, spike that. Nice. Dude, his farms are so bad. I feel like I could kill him with an all-out. Like, what's his third tower? I'm going to send a small camera rush. Is he so low? Okay, he's just aggroing, bro. First, first. Spike. Like, you're dead. What are you doing? What are you doing, Bibleverse? GG, 3-0 in today's video. Like, why? what was that? Bro was playing fine the first, like, 10 rounds. And then he just went psycho mode. That was really weird. GG, I guess. All right, now we have, uh. Honestly, the players kind of been lacking today. Like, I've been playing horrible. Horribly. And I've somehow been undefeated today. Okay, we're not feeling cards today. Ain't no way. Water Hazard, I'm a big fan of the Hazard of Waters here. Good art farm super. Good luck. Like, I could go both farm mortar if I'm not feeling confident in my dart today, but I'm kind of feeling confident on this map in my dart. We'll see, though. Good luck. What's, like, our worst matchup here? I guess, like, aggro heli is kind of tough, but other than that, I feel com comfortable in, in, like, any of these matchups. This is game four, I believe, in today's episode. I'm going to be playing five games every episode. So stay tuned for that. Might record ten games today, though, and just split into two apps. But he's going boat farm, blank, probably mortar. Kind of be to be expected here. Pretty basic strategy, although it is extremely strong. He's really got to farm well. And if he's smart, he actually gets a second boat over here to help his anti-stall. Or to try and anti stall a little bit because he loses late game to a really good dart farm ace micro player or just a dart farm super straight up. So 
We'll see what uh dot 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 has in store here. He's saying sorry. Not exactly sure what our man's is sorry for, but we're fine. We're gonna get our plantation start around four, which is really good. Why is man so sorry? Is he about to like hack or something? My man's about to pull out the freaking round four Weijin Rainbows or or what? Yeah, I'm completely fine greeting here. I know I need to force his um okay, he's gonna greet for that as well. Go strong, strong. I should go close here. He's gonna spike strong. Let's get a double trip now. But yeah, getting around four plants already so strong as is. Plus these rounds have been really stalled out, which just benefits me so much more since I know I have a late game advantage. It's crazy how much of a difference like someone anti-slowing versus no one anti-slowing makes in terms of like how much you farm and just the overall amount of money you get. So like we already have a plant and a half. I didn't have more than one plantation for like what? nine rounds last game or something like that something crazy also you probably aggro the greens here so we just go strong strong if that's the case i'm gonna micro them but he goes double grape shot i'll leave him alone i think if we fully queued blocks we could definitely get some lives through round seven but i think it's much better to just prioritize double plant now because he's letting us farm so is he gonna aggro right here he might i still double plant here i think just because i have all three spikes somewhat healthy live count like a big green rush shouldn't do that much but he's gonna go for it plus i afford my okay let's get you on close i afford my spolt here momentarily beautiful yeah we shouldn't leak too much to this i think this is just a spike spot yeah we just spike that and we can spike that as well perfect yeah we're absolutely chilling man two and a half plants round eight is so so strong we just play passive mcgee here now boys we passive up obviously it's not ideal to be at this low of a live count but when when we have like a round i mean do i bank okay if he rushes right here i think we mm, yeah i think we go for another spolt if he aggros uh let's go for another trip actually because we're kind of leaking here I want to preserve my lives a little bit and i'm just playing this safe now why does he keep saying sorry like we get it bro i don't know what you're sorry about but we get it man let's not die to region lights that's the all we have to do is just not die to region lights all right asian just don't die to region lights and you're fine so he has boat farm mortar we just we literally just bank this round and we win i think that's how we play this we bank up call it a day all right bank beautiful and we can get up another spolt for round 13 rush he's gonna send those camo rush thingies should be okay here i'm gonna spike it just to be extra safe i actually think that was a good spike there's a slim chance those region into two leads and then we just lose uh oh i forgot to put these on strong okay we have to boost here we're good right please don't die to that we're good that was scary though so for a rerush i guess i go double jug he might just all out me if he all outs me i just sell the bank and fan club okay so he's gonna rush here surely this defends right please defend okay we're good holy that was sketchy we defended but like bro at what cost do i ever just all out here oh that's actually a great rush on his end i'm not gonna lie but like that's just scary because now he's gonna rush here for sure i think we just go double jug let's go double jug boost we're good dude i think i need to all out him but like this is so sketchy man I think i just lose my jugs just suck on this i just am bad at this on this map man playing terribly like are we still in this game yes does it look favorable here not at all absolutely not man oh man let's get you i think that should be a close strong strong maybe you gotta remember to micro those on the first though like i can never just greed for my bia here 
Well, no, we should still win this game with like a round 19 BIA, right? I think. So there's a very good chance we get sent to Moab here. Like a 100% chance, actually. We're just gonna go like this, which on strong. Here comes the Moab, 3 2 1. No Moab? Okay, I'm greeting for BIA here every time now. Round 18 BIA. I don't love it, but it's what we have to do here. And now I need to get up a second jug, actually. For natural leads. Which we'll get over here. Um, ooh. So we can actually... This is actually a good play here. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna sell you. Go like this. And he's gonna rush here. We just boost this. Should defend. Jug on first. Jug on first. Okay, we're good. Now I should be able to sell, sell for 5k. So that's basically the price for a fan club. Yeah, we're good. I don't think there's leads around 20, is there? If there is... Actually, if he sends a Moab, we just go... Laser Blast and then Trip Dart Spam, right? Oh, there is leads. That's scary. I think it's okay to aggro. Okay, he's gonna rush. BFB or what? No, he's gonna send that. Okay. I think that was the right play, right? How did I almost just die? I don't get this, man. I literally don't get it. I'm like broke, man. I think I just... I'm in such a bad spot. I'm not die here. Oh my gosh, man. We're in a terrible spot. <laughs> This guy has been the most aggressive. Holy cow, bro. And it's been so, like, well done. Like, Oh, I forgot to micro these on the first. Maybe that's why we were just dying to everything. Okay, so he's going to do that. Um, We should be able to milk boost here, and then we can send a bloom boost in my rush. Like, he has to boost this every time. AI, it's really tough on these two-way paths. Yeah, you're dead here. All right, 5-0 today. If he dies, he's fine. Oh, he went for double busty. I guess that works. Dude, we're broke, man. I don't love this at all. I hate this, actually. I think we're in a terrible spot. We have no boosts. Stop saying well done, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm just going to go boat farm mortar on this map from now on because it's so easy to use compared to dart on this map. It's actually insane. There's a reason almost no one goes dart farm super on this map. Like, when I used to be good at dart, I would go, I'd be able to pull it off. But I'm just playing like absolute bot on this map now. We need him to just die to AI like round 25-ish. Like our only chance. We're just too broke, man. Like, I can try all outing him round 33, and I mean, sure, there's a chance, but it's still stall versus no stall at the end of the day. It's tough. Need camo on these for natural balloons here. We only have four lives, so let's not leak here. Yeah, we're good. Fan club, I guess. Like, that's such a max value Moab right there, bro. We don't even have money to cash out yet, bro. Well, oh, he has a big one. I can't do anything here. He's gonna send leads too, probably. Or an inland of Moab, maybe. Oh, we're dead. No, we're living. Very sketchy. All right, I'm cashing this out on the round. So bad, bro. I'm about to have double fact like what round 26 that's terrible that's so bad that's actually just disgustingly bad but like we have to do it all right so double fact round 26 and send another moab we just fan club here every time like it's still forcing so much defense it's like it's a good rush it's annoying Uh, let's sell you. And he probably tries a region lead rush or something here, doesn't he? Not die to AI <laughs> camo pinks. Oh, man. 
This is really greedy, but we should get three crates right here so we can afford fan club. We're good. All right, let's use you now. Like, we're out farming. I don't know how we're out farming, but we are out farming. Kind of mind blown by that, not gonna lie, but we'll take it. He's just sending infinite space leads to, like, block my trips, I guess. So how do we win this? Like, I actually think it is winnable. I still think the odds are in his favor, but, like, we have a game. We have a playable game here. It's just very uphill, I, uphill battle, I feel like. Because, like, to defend a singular round 30 ZOMG, you know how much defense I have to get up? Whereas he just can get up a bunch of destroyers and then, like, and I can never rush him round 30. I feel like I need money in hand first. Like, I can't just deplete all my eco right away round 30. I could try an all-out round 30, yes. Is that an ill-advised play? I think so. I think it is an ill-advised play. But he's going to send me a Moab here for sure, or a ZMG. So we're going to want permanent defense. We're going to go for a Robo Monkey, and we're going to go for it in a spot that... Is round 31 too early to rush? I think it is. Maybe we just rush round 32 call today. I think that's the move. We'll rush in round 32. So I shouldn't go for any more farms. We have natural ceramic rush of death round 32 i'm just gonna preemptively get these guys up two robos and we do have to be worried about camos man he could try a sneaky camera so we're gonna start a rush because i think we kind of have to i don't think this guy has enough money to defend a massive round 32 to 34 rush i guess we'll see this probably induces an immediate counter doesn't it yes it does okay it's go time, baby. Cue the intense music. This is our best game of the video today. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, if he's like all out of me, I sh it's early enough where I think I should be able to defend it. But um, we're going to keep sending. Got a bunch of these on strong. Not all of them, though, because like I said, we have to be worried about camera rushes as well. Like this. And we're going to bloom boost. And we're going to send him a large rush here now. I got to find my fan club, though. I'm going to get Royer out here any second now. Okay. Go. Lock in. Lock in, boys. We just simply tech tear this in a second. Come on. As late as possible. Damn, I have to double TT. That's actually kind of bad. Like, that's so expensive. Alright, that's all we can send. Now we gotta spam Robos here. You go Robos over Sun Monkey every, every time here. All right, I lock in. I know it's not called some monkey, but we're locked in, baby. We got to lock in. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, go like this. Oh, I have a tech tear up. Um, get another fan club here. Okay, we're good. I think he's dead to that, right? Should be dead here. Another fan club. Come on. I have money to like... Do I have farms up here? No. Natural balloons are killing me. Natural balloons killed me, boys. Natural balloons literally killed me. GG's. Subscribe. I'm terrible at the game. Bye. Was that only four games, actually? Shit, I think I gotta play one more. That was just the, the worst game of all time. I played that horribly. We should have won. We would have won that game, by the way. All I have to do is just defend natural balloons and we win that game, right? I don't know. GG's. He played it well. Uh, if I just go for my bank one round later, I think it's free. Sucks, dude. Obviously, I'm rusty, but like that's just no excuse, man. That was a pitiful performance. And now we get the worst map in ZMG, basically. Behind Zen. This map's terrible. I think Tack Eco's meta, too. We're gonna go Glue just for safety. Although Ninja's better. Okay, if he goes attack Ninja Village, that's just an extremely unlucky matchup. No way, man. I lose. He has attack Ninja Village. We, it's just better than our loadout late game. 
And now we lose. This is unbelievable, bro. I picked this because I thought he'd go Cobra or Farms. I thought there was a 0% chance he goes Tac Eco. And now we just lose. Because Ninja Village is better than Tac Blue Village. The reason I go Tac Blue Village is because it's way better against Cobra. And it's just like so much... Oh my god. Like the mid games are so much easier. But I thought there was like... I'm like there's one strat he can go here that really screws me over. And it's Tac Ninja Village. God, I should have just went Tac Ninja Village. Is this winnable? Yeah, but like... Yeah, this guy... Let's just bank on this guy being bad at the game, alright, chat? We're just gonna bank on him being bad at the game, and we'll win the game, alright? Easy as that. Come on, now. Oh, I'm pissed, though, bro. Can't be losing, losing here. But if we win this, technically, yes, we still are keeping our goal of an 80% win rate, because we'd be 20-5. and five. But... Stupid, bro. All right, this is gonna be extremely boring early game. It's literally just us eco versus each other. So, all right, round six. He has yet to. Okay, finally found the green button. Nice. Does the tax solo greens? Probably. Yeah, it might leak a little bit. Okay. Okay, blocks are just destroying our tax shooter here. Um, I actually, I'm not even going to go for Ring of Fire here. Let's just go for this bad boy. We got to make sure we don't over eco though, obviously. We don't want to die to camos. We have cheap lead popping power and corrosive. Uh, I want to hide the fact that I have glue though, don't I? I feel like I have to hide the fact that I have glue, even though I've been saying unlucky and thumbs downing this guy, so he probably just knows I have glue. <laughs> Like, is glue bad? No. It's just like, it's no ninja, bro. Ninja underneath village is so, so strong. And so much better than a freaking glue hose under a village. You know what I mean? All right, let's hope he dies to this somehow. <laughs> choke. Choke to the freaking yellows, please. Choke to the yellows. Also, that's a really bad ring of fire spot. Just saying. I can aggro hard here simply for the fact that, like, I have blue he doesn't he needs to go for round 10 ring of fire so it makes sense that he's kind of uh going turtley right now we're fine against this by the way all right <clears throat> well let's get our village down okay he's replacing his thing in an actual decent spot nicely done so uh, yeah like i said i'm gonna hide the fact that i have glue i don't think i can show glue because as soon as he sees glue like it just changes everything. So if, if I don't give him the chance to see glue, there's a chance he ends up being the one to rush me first. And I then have an advantage and the tides kind of turn. You know what I mean? Because if he rushes me, like say round 33, he rushes me because he thinks we both have like tech ninja village for some reason. I don't know why he would rush, but like, like it's just better to just not show glue here. All right, I'm keeping this tack shooter up because I need it for round 15 ceramics anyways. All right, I think we're actually out ecoing him though, which is good. Does he just not want to get up camo detection? What is going on? Yeah, he's just baiting camos. Nice. How do we win this? I mean, when even is the rush round in eco v eco, bro? Like round... 35 i don't know i think i just have to hope i out eco this guy like crazy is that the play i'm not sure like tack is just tack eco is probably meta on this map like honestly though maybe ninja ice village ninja ice supers better but i feel like it's also pretty tough to pull off i don't know you could argue like double stalls better it's definitely not farms. I don't think farms are meta on this map. You can fit like five farms max. I think. Alright, he's gonna send us ceramics or something here. Easy reads. If he sends me a ton of ceramics, it just slows down his ego. So go crazy. I can spike three of them. Each ceramics, 300 cents. I can spike $900 of ceramics. But he's getting up. Blade Shooter. There's a ceramic in there, so we're gonna get that up. JK, there was not a ceramic in there, just eco balloons. We have an insanely high eco though. You usually wanna try to hit like a thousand eco around 18. We're at 
we're gonna be over well over 1300 we'll be at 1400 eco round 18. oh boy so we have a good eco lead is that gonna really change much i just don't think so because ninjaville under ninjaville is so good bro there's a reason it's one of the top eco strats in the game and it's just like glue is so much safer because if he has cobra attack glue village is so much like safer than attack ninja village because you don't have to consistently keep using money to sabotage supply lines. You can just get up a permanent like glue hose stall. And then maelstrom the insides of course. But we have so much eco. Um, Do we ever send him a BFB? I actually don't mind sending a BFB. Also, if he sends me a BFB. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me cook here. The whole plan of this rush is for the natural leads to come on the screen in like two seconds. We're going to bloom boost this. Natural leads come on the screen and it's going to block his maelstroms. It's going to block his maelstroms. Come on. Please. Please. Oh my God. Yo, this might work. This might work. That, he's going to need a double maelstrom. You have to double maelstrom. GG's. What? I saw death, bro. I 100 piece that death. Also, if he counters, I'm fine against counter. I can get a blue hose. That's crazy. I saw death. Wow. Oh, he's sending me a ZMG or BFB for sure right here. Maybe I do just reveal the fact that I have blue. Is that that bad of a deal or big of a deal? What's he doing? Oh, he's monkey towning. No, I'm going to send him a BFB, bro. We're getting aggro. I think I have to, man. I lose late, bro. I and I just bloom boosted lads at him. Skill issue agent. Let's just full cue this. It slows down. He's not even ecoing. And now I have my dinghy up. Oh shoot. I probably should have sent this. Yeah, it's ninja. I told you. I told you, chat. I'm not gonna thumbs down because then that's a clear indication that I have glue. We need to hide glue. Blue is secret weapon. But now he literally just... Oh, I guess if this comes on Maelstrom, he actually kind of has a tough time. Or not on Maelstrom, on, <laughs> on Saba. And he's just fine. We're still out ecoing this guy. I'm like 100% certain though. Uh, I guess you guys will see, but I think we're out ecoing him. Is he sending me something? He's just prepping so much defense. Are you sending me a ZMG ski? He might be. I'm not worried about his ZMG defend at all. I'm T1 Tack Micah, bro. Is that famous last words? He's definitely sending one, so let's get ready. Send the ZMG, brother. No, he's equaling. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right, I'll see you guys late game, I guess. And he's building up the ninja army. Again, we have no reason. Why is he getting ninjas right now? I guess natural mobs come next round, but... I'm not even going to bat an eye. I'm just going to get up, like... Two and a half maelstroms for AI probably this round. Again, we have to hide glue for as long as possible, bro. It's crazy because we're out equaling this guy so hard. I just know we are. I know we are. All right, I actually think we just go maelstrom army. Like, I don't even think we want tax sprayers because we're going to have an energy beacon. So we'll have a full map of maelstroms underneath energy beacon. So the abilities will come back quicker. And then obviously everything will be like perma glued. Yeah, he knows how good. Well, if he doesn't eco enough. Okay, now he's going back to ecoing. <sighs> Bruh, how do we win? How do we win? It's definitely not round 30 ZMG time anymore because bro got up a ton of like preemptive defense. I, sh I mean, maybe we all out round 35. Have we even gotten a boost out of him? I don't think so. I think he has all his boost, doesn't he? That just sucks if that's true. Also, this solos the natural Moab. We don't have to worry. Don't have to worry. These ones, though, we're just gonna go like that. Would it be way easier to defend these with a good old glue hose on the map? Yes. But again, we have to conceal the fact that we have the good old glue gunner. We cannot give our opponent any edge here, bro. In game. My man is just. Why is he placing so many MIBs? I'm going to go for Energy Beacon. There's a chance he rushes me. I actually think 
So this guy's giving me vibes of someone who rushes early. Why are you spamming MIBs? <laughs> Bro, those things don't attack, you know. Okay, I think he's rushing. He's gonna have sabbles and everything. Dude. Okay, I actually think we win this game simply from the fact that we're gonna have so much more money than this guy because we have so much more eco. Like, he's just spamming Sabos. What are you doing? Who's mans? Like, this is completely fine here. Let's just not die to AI. Okay. Keep building up the Maelstrom army. He's going back to ecoing, but he's so far behind in eco, I think. Also, he has five Sabos, which is just dumb in itself because... If you use a Sabo every 15 seconds, you only need four of them to infinitely stall. Fun fact. And a nice way to remember, like, when to Sabo is you just use it every 15 second increment. So I'd use it at 45 seconds game time, 0, 0, 15, and then 30. Easy way to remember. Um, Yeah, we're good. So I think we rush round 36. I'm going to rush. Is that too early, though? I'm dead. Hydra Dam. I actually like this matchup against a dart player. He's gonna thumbs down or quit. I just know it. We just go both farm glue every time. All right, boys. Episode five. Episode four was terrible. We only won sixty percent of our games. Went three out, three and two. Played like an absolute bum all five games. So hopefully we can bounce back here. Really hope we can just win five straight. That way we will be at eighty percent win rate the past episodes that's the plan here but we found a shark here we found a shark because we found good old salamence sure salamence is a dragon but in game he's a shark because he's like i said he's one of the best dart players in the game so can i place a farmer bro oh no man wait i saw it hold on let me cook let me cook let me cook afford 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 grip shot hey okay farmer and then, okay, now we rush him. I'm fine playing Mixico boat here. His boat spot's bad. Not a good boat spot, buddy. We have the goat boat spot. The goat boat. The goat boat. Good luck, have fun, though. If this is the real Salamance, it might not be, but he also has a YouTube channel. He, I think he's one of the first to show the ace pathing. Kind of cool. So, like, how to manipulate your ODS and whatnot. We'll stop echoing here. Oh, I didn't upgrade my farm. Oh my gosh. I had a zero zero farm. Oh my gosh. Did I just miss on two bananas? I definitely did, bro. Oh my gosh. Well, we're picking up where we left off, I guess. That's bad. Also, given his boat spot, he probably has boat farm boomer. He's going to try to anti stall because he knows we, we beat him late game if he has boat farm boomer and I have boat farm glue. So we got a late plant. I don't love this. I really don't love this situation here, bro. I think we balloon boost this as well. Yeah, let's do it. And we're gonna go like this. Uh, I'm saving my spikes. I don't care about live count here yet. I think we can overwhelm. Actually, his boat spot's not bad. His first boat spot's better than I expected it to be. But I still think if we just get a bank, even if it's a late bank, we're in such a good spot. But he's got more defense than me. This is an opportunity to get up in farms. Yeah, see, like, our boats are soloing. Whereas he has more defense and he's, like, still leaking. And that's simply boat placements. Uh, We're going to be sent a yellow monstrous rush right here. Yep. It's always just a boost. Oh my gosh, I didn't even need that. He stopped sending at, like, the perfect time. But the problem thing is, he's going to send a rerush. I'll try... Oh, we'll go here, actually. Send the rerush, man. Oh, no, he's farming. Guess we send this. Okay, we... Boost for boost is fine. This shouldn't do anything. Plus, I have triple spike if we need to, but this should be fine. Yeah, we're good. Okay, it's going to be boomer. It's very much boomer vibes right now. Oh no, I glued the wrong thing, bro. Oh my gosh, that's so unlucky. I just had to waste two spice because I got my corrosive up late. Also, he's dead to this, isn't he? That's just death. Okay, he affords. Nice. Nicely done. 
I can't get caught boosting though, I realize. So that was actually a really greedy farm on my end, but fine. He's gonna send Cam Gross here. Um, let's get that. We're good. It looks scary, but we're good. Yep. Beautiful. Blue splatter for sure. Strong. And now we just get late bank. I don't think I can really boost you. I'm just going to destroy it preemptively because he's going to rush. I think. Strong, strong first. Not die anything stupid. Yeah, now we just turtle and bank, I think. This should be a safe, like, round 16 bank, I think. Uh, what is that? Ammos? We just boost this. Um, we should be able to defend it all out. This is kind of sketchy, though. Are we good? We're good. Right? Yeah, he's dead. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Why did I almost choke that game, bro? I didn't realize he like all outed me. GG, I'm not playing again. Get out of here, you sweaty. Get out of here. One and oh today. <laughs> Stay away, Salamance. Alright. Now we have not even gonna try to pronounce that. We'll just call this guy Rat Boy. Kinda looks like that in his name. Give me a good Eww. ain't nobody shipyard in today, buddy. SML, good luck, have fun. We just go dark from Ace Call today. Ah, we could go super. I actually don't hate super here, boys. Let's do it. Oh, he's gonna skip. Skip's one of the best maps for Swamp. I actually I think I am just I, I feel so good on Swamp with Darling Farm Glue. Actually insane. My Darling Farm Glue on this map has like evolved. Even though I've only used it like three times. Pretty sure I'm undefeated. So good luck, have fun. Hopefully we're not up against what? Okay, he's gonna go with farm ace probably. That's okay. I guess I have to start with this against anti-stall. Don't love it, but it is what it is. Um, actually, am I supposed to start with a farm there? I think I am. Believe it or not, I think I'm supposed to start with Yeah, I'm supposed to start with the farm there. That's a blunt that's a rare instance where you actually still round one farm. Even against anti-stall. Now I just get zero bananas, bro. But we out late game anything you can possibly have here. Even if it's Wiz Farm Super, we out late game it. So we have to keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and rush though. We want to stall the round out as much as possible. Our whole priority should be stalling rounds out. Giving ourselves as much time as possible to get up farms. That's how we win this game. Because the, the only way you can win with Darden Farm Glue is to have like infinite money and infinite eco. So that's what we're playing for here. Um, let's force. I, I don't want to force lightning actually. Don't get lightning. Dang it. We don't want to force lightning because what that does is it actually ends up making him get up the lightning. Making him get up the lightning anti stalls the rounds. I want to go for this farm so badly right now, but I can't. Also, yeah, you can eco like crazy. Go ahead, man. I was getting up the pow darts, and we get a farm start around five. Like I said, the issue is like, bro, just anti stalls now, which is correctly done on his end. Like, how he should. That's how he just has to play it anyway. Like, this is an anti stall map with Wiz. It just is. Um. So yeah, that's kind of not ideal. We want these rounds being stalled out more than they have been. I, I'm kind of sniffing out. No, he's gonna plant right here. Yeah, so he gets a plantation. Our farms aren't terrible. I don't think we can break his anti-stall yet, though. Round 7, we might be able to with a bunch of blocks, but... Is that worth? Because round 8 is just kind of hell for me, because I have to get up so much defense. He's going to rush me here. Um. Alright, let's go like this. He's going to be shocked to see that, probably. But he's just going to go in here. And I guess we probably have to buy a splatter. Yeah. This should defend. It's just kind of gross. Really gross, actually. I think I have to boost if he sends a ton of yellows. Um, Is that... Is that a ton of yellows, though? I don't think it is. I think we just tank that. This is always a tank. 
We always farm here. Yeah. I think we try to send a little bit now, though, because the Wiz isn't going to solo AI as easily anymore. So I'm going to send Space Pinks just to get something on the screen to hopefully, you know, nerf his lightning. But I think we're on pace for round 11 bank. And I think if we get a round 11 bank, we should just win this game, right? Ideally, unless he sends insanely well done rushes. We should just win. So round 11... I think I just go for faster barrel spin. Did you unlock? Ah, uh, strong's fine. We have to go for it now. We bank here every time. It's just, it's always the play. All right. Plus now we can handle punish rush here. He's, like, he's going to try to punish rush. Watch. Yep. Or he's going to balloon boost camos at me. what the heck is that rush i've never seen a rush like that so now if y'all outs guess what i sell bank get up a laser cannon we defend Let's actually rush him here i'm kind of spooked now but he sent a massive camera rush he milked all my spikes though nicely done that might region and kill him i literally sent him one set of regions didn't i Ace fine. Also, we didn't even cash out the bank there, did we? We're living, but we are low on lives, which is a bit scary. Because, like, I think we're dead to a single rainbow balloon now. Um, He's saving up for a BIA, it looks like. That was a long round, by the way. I think I have to BIA around 16. Or can I go for it this round? I kind of want to go for it this round. Do I get punished, though? I probably get punished. Unless you go... Oh, okay, if he goes for it, we match it. We match BIA. Oh, he didn't even BIA. He just banked. Even better. He's going to send camos. It's probably just another boost spot. Yeah. Because we're low on lives. And, like, these are such expensive rushes, man. That survives. Yep. Let's go, baby. You don't even have a BIA. He's just set... Camos are just so expensive. Two and a half times. Is what the cost uh, compared to normal balloons is to send camos. So we're just out farming like crazy here because uh his camo shenanigans. And we just boost to counter it. Like that's that's hundred percent the play. Now he's probably gonna send us a Moab, in which case we go glue hose, and he's gonna there's gonna be camos behind it. He's been doing camos all game. I'm just gonna preemptively just get up a glue hose, I think, here. Yep, glue hose. And we just go like this. No camos, so we should be fine here, actually. This just solo is done. Yeah, we're good. Nothing over the top means we're fine here. This should solo, despite these being unglued. And just like that, we're playing really well here. He finally got a BIA. Um, I think we force we should be able to force sell with a Zeo or a BFB. Now, typically, I don't think it's worth aggroing in an instance where you I okay, so I have a massive late game advantage. Not massive, I have a late game advantage, right? But in this case, where he greets for the BIA, I think he 100% of the time has to sell that BIA to defend. So that way, it's definitely worth it. Because it's not like it's setting me like back a ton by sending this. Because I can still defend a BFB that he sends my way. Probably without cashing out. Actually, it's kind of sus. But we send this every time here. Because he's probably sending me one as well. Yeah, so he, he has to sell that BIA 100%. There's 0% chance he has enough money saved up to defend without cashing out. 0%. No, because now you're dead to the ceramics. Unless you sell that for a Tempest, you're dead to the ceramics, I think, right? Oh, he sold his BIA. I was right. Okay. Well, we want to re-glue this. Re-glue, 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 re-glue. Unglue, please. Why is this... Okay, some reason nothing is becoming unglued right now. We always have to boost here. Okay, it just came unglued, so now we're fine, but like... Bro, that was sketchy. That thing would not become unglued for some reason. Oh, he re-got up a BIA? I mean, I guess. What a weird game, man. Like, he's baiting me into sending him another one, but, like, I can't. <laughs> I literally just can't. We're doubling his farms. Okay, he's gonna send another one. This is something we should be able to defend without boost. 
we really got to track the glue though so it glues for 11 seconds so okay just glued at 42 which means it's gonna come unglued at 53 so okay we actually go like this but i come unglued yep so now it's glued 54 so it's gonna unglue at 65 okay does this just defend Okay, that's like sloppy defend, but it works. It works, man. And if he just wants to keep wasting his money on VFBs, be my guest. Like, he's broke. I should just be able to kill him around 30 anyways. I think. Um, I'm 100% going to greed here, by the way. We're going to greed for a third BIA. Or at least a bank. Okay, so this is the end of the round. Uh... Okay, this should defend. Uh, I think he's saving up for his ZMG here. Because he's not farming. And if we just defend the ZMG, we win the game, basically. So yeah, ZMG is going to come on our screen in like 3 seconds, probably. Yep, there it is, he's reads. Now, can I just kill this guy with an all-out? Probably. Is it worth it? I don't think so. Just spam defense here. If we defend it, he's dead to AI, I think. But if we just defend this, we win, I think. Just die to AI, man. Just go down easy, bro. Come on now. Go down easy. We're going to need to uh, get up a left side. Okay, he's all outing here. So defending all out, we should, oh, he did have ace. Yeah, so I'm kind of glad in all out. If he had super, I would have felt really comfortable, but. Okay. Like this. Yeah, we win here. This defends. Assuming this doesn't come unglued at like the worst possible moment, we should just win. Wait, why is that not glued? Like that. Okay, I need to sell this farm. We got to play this extra safe, man. Just sell the farm, bro. Play it extra safe. We're good. Playing it extra safe. Getting up a bajillion dollars in defense to defend there. Just surrender, man. Just give up. Throw the towel. Throw on the towel. You lost. Surrender. Uh, I think he just dies to AI here, actually. Go down, brother. Stop defending. <laughs> it's over. Throw in the white flag, bro. It's over. Sure, I can send him a BFB, but... <laughs> this is what, game two, bro? This is only game two. Alright, he's finally gonna rush me BFB? Yeah. This defense. We're good. Okay, just surrender, man. Fine, I'll send him a freaking BFB. Alright. That should do it. Unless he still has a boost, but I don't think he does. GG's. We go next. He's ground zeroing? No, he's not. Bro, what is going on? <laughs> Alright, there we go. 2-0 today. Take it. Alright, so we're just trying to win three more in a row. That's all we gotta do. Easy, man. This guy could low-key be sweaty. Let's just go dart farm super here. Good luck. Uh, this guy could be sneaky sweaty. Sure, he had a bad record, but... Yeah, see, he's actually going anti cell NG and he's doing Centrum and Ips. Like, this guy knows what he's doing. Alright, we gotta play on our game here, boys. Good luck. Have fun. Toss him a thumbs up. Let's see what we can do here, boys. Hopefully, we can catch ourselves three more dubs, end the day, with an 80% win rate, which is our ultimate goal for the 100 game series. Um, that way, we would be 30% of the way through the series, which is kind of exciting. Send two balloons here. Waited way too long to send that. I don't know why I did that, but we want to break his anti-stall now. So, we're going to rush here. Hopefully, he stalls out these rounds. 
showing the amateur in him that would be ideal because that's kind of what it's looking like yeah he's he's kind of blundering here because guess look what's happening him not getting up defense stalls out this round a lot so 56 seconds 55 giving us more time to get money he's going strong for pinks he gets up the niner now though he's not sending me anything even if he does start sending i'm just gonna greed for my plant in two eco boosts that's our plan so, like I said, he's anti-stalling. Is that a big deal? No, because he's letting me just get a free round five plantation with no leaks. So really good. Another kind of sign that Broski isn't really playing the most optimally. But it's fine. Need to check his flow chart. Do I just go double trip here? Yeah. Yeah, let's save the lives here. And then I think we just rush a little bit. He's probably going to aggro, isn't he? Uh, he's gonna send that let's get you on strong last strong to shred the black layer and then the last to just shoot down that straight line he's gonna rush okay so we go last last okay mini rush he debated me we're gonna go for a farm here this is looking like we're on bank pace which is great it's all we really want to do against ng is make sure we get up a bank yeah he, he's not sending like massive green rushes or anything to really cause any havoc this is just allowing us to greed quite well no complaints here thus far this should stall out the round by sending these blacks. That's the whole idea of it. Plus, maybe get some leaks as a bonus. He seems like a yellow rusher, though. Let's see. You want to send the yellows? Yes, sir. And a little balloon boost action on top. The cherry on top, balloon boost. And first, first, first. Okay, we're le Oh, lordy. This is bad. What is this targeting, Asian? <laughs> what was that okay we lost spikes but we have double plant round nine which is really good uh don't don't that's just not good what you just saw just erase that from your memory boys and we go next all right all right now we need to get up a jug of rooney please don't send regions i don't really want to deal with any region nonsense here okay, let's get you up i'm gonna use my last spike as well Okay, he's trapping up, or what? He's selling the farm to trap up, and he's leaking. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Look at the farm lead, boys. We're on round... I think we just get round 13? I think round 14 bank. We'll get a round 14 bank. Call it a day. And I think we should still have... Oh, he's going NG farm spec. That's kind of hilarious. That's the worst of the three NG farm strats <laughs> that you could go on this map. Like, Ninja's better as a third. Heli's better as a third. Honestly, Super's better as a third. So I could afford a bank right now, but it's way too greedy. Considering how little defense I have. We're just going to comfortably go around 14 bank. Oh, Jug's on close. We don't want that. Round 14 bank. Call it a day. Um, If he's not going to rush, we'll be able to get up a bank while leaving up a plant behind. It's kind of good. And then if we have to sell that plant, like, no big deal. There we go. I expect to get rushed right here. More times than not. No. He's passiving up here, I guess. Very strange. I have no reason to aggro here. NG farm spec, like, dies around 30, so... We have no reason to aggro. I think we just comfortably just chill with our bank... He's not even rushing around 16, man. There he goes. He heard me chirping him. Let's boost that. Is it better to save boost and probably sell farm? Yeah, but don't care. He's going to re-rush and then I sell farm. Easy reads. Okay, now you're going to re-rush. Now you're going to re-rush. Why you no re-rush, bro? You got to boost. Come on. You got to boost out of me. This guy's whack. Well, we'll just get a round 18, round 19 BIA, and we're absolutely vibing. So, if you balloon boost some Moab, I'll boost to it. If he doesn't balloon boost, I think I just get up a super, right? Okay, he had a His balloon boost was off. Just defense. Yeah. Beautiful. And now we get our BIA up this round. Really good spot. Okay, so I guess we want our darts on strong to just literally target the Moab. And then we have laser blast for cleanup. This spot to be full. 
Um, I can probably kill him with a rush here, actually. Let's try it. So we're going to send leads with the natural leads, followed by zebras, followed by the bunch of panks. Yeah, there's a boost. And we cash this out here in a second. So we can afford this. Beautiful. Round 19 BIA acquired. If he tries to punish with bunch of mothers or something we can sell two spolts and this guy for about 6400 which means we need 1600 to afford a fan club he's sending bfb okay um hopefully the jug can hit these leads that would be great for us yeah we're good yeah now we just do what i said we were gonna do he's like all outing me okay i mean we just sell our farm if he's all outing and this just defends gonna boost though because honestly a crazy moab layer right there that was a crazy moab layer but yeah now we win he's gonna surrender surrender gg three no come on two more baby two more let's go oh we found the same guy that's actually kind of nice because now we can cook now we can cook boys that's sprinkler he's sad because bad Feels bad, man. Um, we could go DFA. We could go Heli Farm Ice. Go NG Farm Heli. I just don't really feel like Sprinkler here today. Now we? Uh, I think we... Okay, he's going to skip. I was going to say, we probably just go safe Boat Farm Order. Pinball. We have to just go to our Farm Super. Like, there's no... That's just what we do, bro. You have to. You have to do it on Pinball. Like, we got to do it. Good luck. All right. I won't be surprised if he just like surrenders or something. Uh, is he going NG again? No way, right? He's probably going to trust in his dart, I would imagine. Probably what you got to do. Or he's going to go tack eco, even better. All right, so we just destroy every tack eco late game strat. So that's good. Very good. Like even if he has like tack, I guess tack village super or something, like he, he's just not going to have enough money. You just can't. Yeah, like, Takiko just won't have enough money against Dark Farm Super to win. Maybe I'll be surprised, but... It's likely Tack Ninja Village. Which can defend somewhat late, but... If these rounds are stalling out, which they will be... Like, I'm just gonna have too much money where he's not gonna really be able to do anything about it. And I'm just gonna be able to get up insane amounts of defense if I need to defend any rush. This, should, this is like a 90-10 matchup right now, dude. Like if we play our cards perfectly, there's like no way he can win. <laughs> like I don't care I don't care what he tries, like there's just nothing you can do. And that's just that's just reality, man. It's pinball wizard, bro. Dark Farm Super runs this map. You can try things like Wiz Farm Super. Like that's not bad, but like the look how good the spolt spots are, bro. These pinks will do nothing. Also really bad rush because you're Okay, he stopped sending. That's good. He should stop sending though. The reason that's bad is notice how he got zero lives on me and it just slows down how much eco he's getting um i don't think i ever go double spolt here do i no i think i go for a trip dart for help against like black wins or something right if he doesn't send blacks though i just chill with this one trip one spolt and a dream yeah like this is working um very very good so we're gonna have two plants round seven and this is the power of stalled out rounds okay now he's gonna send some blacks in there not bad play but fortunately you didn't send enough to really do anything so Mr. Trip Dart will be cleaning that up with ease. And now he's going to... Uh, we just leak these and we farm. Actually, yeah, we just leak these. We do have to be somewhat careful though, bro. Like, the live count ain't that healthy. You know? So let's start to get up a second trip. He's probably going to send region whites or something. Wouldn't surprise me. Am I able to bank this round? <laughs> can I round eight bank? Ever? I think I can. So I, I need like 2k saved up. Is that? No. Okay. It's like I can round nine bank. No, round eight banks never play. Cause then how I have to get up a jug for 1900. Like that's just not happening. Let's just get up a plantation. We'll just get a BIA. We won't even go for a bank this game. We'll just go straight into the BIA. I think we can. Um, We're kind of like dying to AI. It shows how little defense I have, but um, what is he doing? My man has one village and a dream. All right, there's that. Nice. So I'm actually going to go for a Republic here because he didn't send me lights. Send me light. Oh, this actually might be bad. 
Okay, yeah, I'm. I got greedy. <laughs> I got greedy, boys. And now I look like an idiot. <laughs> I'm playing with my food, boys. This is not good. This is not good. If y'all out to me, by the way, we can just fan club. In rush? I won't be surprised if you rush. I knew it. I knew it. When you know, you know, chat. When you know, you know, chat. Give me that. Save me a freaking 100 hour late game. That's great. Uh, that's actually great. We don't. Okay, stop trying to defend, buddy. Throw in the towel. Stop trying. GG, bat. All right. One more game, and we are having a perfect 5 0 session for episode 5. That would be amazing. We find the same guy. <laughs> I mean, we're just farming him at that point, bro. We're just farming him at that point. We're, we're turning into a monkey farmer ourselves and just farming little bro. All right, we get Factor Miedo. Miedo means scared, right? I think so. Not a bad player. Good luck, have fun. I mean, bottomless pit. No way you want to play this. Dude, I think we just... Do we... T no, it's going to go late game. I don't want to go late game. We probably go Darden Farm Glue there. Shape's great map. Go HFI here. He's going to skip. Sands. Oh, this is tricky spot. See, this is one of the most, like, RPS maps in the game. Rock, paper, scissors. Because, like, if I go Cobra and he goes Takiko, I lose. Like, that's just how it is. So, I think DFA is just, like, the safest overall play we can make here. I bet he goes tack eco though. Everyone's been going tack eco against me for some reason. Let's see if this guy will do the same. He's going passive. Honestly, is that good or bad for us? Like, I feel good against HFI. But, like, if for some reason it's Dart Farm Super, that's, like, not good for us. But who goes Dart Farm Super on this map? Because it just loses to Cobra. Like, nobody uses it. I don't know. We'll see what happens this game. Good luck. I think it's Dart v Dart, though, if I had to guess. No. Is he going dartling or something? No, it's tack farm. <laughs> All right. We win. All we have to do, we can play mix eco. That's a thing. Um, But if the rounds are stalling out, I'm just going to get a round four plant. That's what we're doing today. Like, if he doesn't upgrade that tack, you know what happens, boys? This round stalls out. The big sensei gets mucho dilaros. Muchos dilaros. Muchos dollares, and we get up the plantacion. So that's what's about to happen right here. So he, sure, he gets a plant. We get plants too. Everybody eating. So plant if you plant. And now I can just mix it. He's going to bloom boost. That's fine. I just chill with this guy and last. We take the leaks like a champ. Go ahead and spike that. This is fine. He has like no defense. And him not getting up defense is literally a blunder on his end because he's stalling out the rounds. But see, he, that's a smart spike. The reason he spiked that is so that the natural balloons don't go farther on the map. Because if they go farther on the map, it extends the round out, which is not what he wants. Because he loses to me late game every single time, no matter what his third tower is. So this is amazing for us. Um, the only thing we do have to worry about is our live count. Gotta make sure our live count stays healthy. We're gonna send this. Honestly, like I said, I can just mix eco here if I want to. He's probably gonna send me a massive green rush here. I think we actually just, yeah, we're just going to start like mix equaling because if he somehow forces me to like sell farms or a bank or something on my bank, I want to make sure I have eco in my back pocket. So by sending this rush, like I'm building up that eco. And I think that's fine because like I said, he loses late game. So I kind of just want to have eco to fall back on. I'm surprised he's not rushing here though. What is that? Oops. I'll help you out, brother. I'll do the same thing. I'll do the same thing, buddy. I got you. Oh, <laughs> he's still mad. Mad cause bad, buddy. Mad cause bad. All right, we should still be able to get double plant round nine, which is good. Double plant. Yeah, we take that. All right. What you sending at me, my guy? Yeah, that ain't gonna do anything. Good try, though. Good try. And now he's thumbs up in. Bro's happy now. Um, I don't think we ever aggro here because we need a jug around 10. Also, did I play this too, place this too high? Because if I upgrade a jug and it starts shooting up here, I'm going to freaking lose it. 
Your farms are good, but it doesn't matter, man. You lose late game. He just placed something up here. Is that Cobra? What is it? Sniper? I think it's Cobra. Is he offensive push rushing me? What is going on? I think bro literally has Cobra. He does! He's gonna try to round 12 all out me. That's hilarious. We just get ODS as a boost. He's gonna do it round 11, actually. That's hilarious. You're gonna all out me round 11? You're hilarious, bro. You're hilarious. What are you doing? What are you doing? There's no way you're real. There's no way you're real. All right, boys, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Remember to drop a like below, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. 5-0 on today's episode. Let's get it.